This is one of the long-range rockets that they have. You have to ask yourself, how did they get something this size into an area that was sealed off? The um, workmanship on it isn't that good. It's looking to me as if it's been made here. Someone supplying the plants. Or possibly shipped in piece by piece and put together here. But this is the new rockets, the new rockets that were fired into Damascus, causing maximum amount of damage. I can't see how they got these into this area unless they came in bit by bit and they were made up on the spot and fired. As you can see, it's not a small rocket. It's a large rocket and it carries a large warhead. The warhead is missing because obviously it's been taken away. We found the warhead. As you can see from the size, it's quite big. It's um, about twice the size of me and Brad. It, this is the weapon that caused maximum amount of damage only a few months ago. Um, the doctors were reporting that the injuries to humans uh, the impact on flesh was horrific. So this is the warhead that explodes. It's been... I hope it's not live. But um, if you can see, it's a specialized piece of material, a specialist weapon. This is a munitions factory. I'm surrounded by ordnance. Mortar shells of different sizes, uh, different devices, different types. Large, small, medium, and a gigantic rocket. This is not something someone's just put together. This is organized, organized in a big way. It's a factory. It makes explosives and munitions. And this is where all the weaponry came into Damascus. This is the place responsible for all the deaths in Damascus. Gas mask. Pull them over there. <laughs> One minute, one minute. 
طيب سياسة العقيد خلينا ننظمهم يفوت اثنين يصير انه هون في تشريك بعد ويت ويت هاي قذائف يلا بس هنا يتم الحديث عن استخدام السيارات لتبجير هون راح احكي عن قنبلة النابالم الحارقة نابالم طريقة التحضير chemical formula for making napalm right and the process of putting napalm together to fire on the civilians of Damascus but blame the Syrian Arab army this is Al Hasham and they also made phosphorus here that they fired on the civilians 20 days ago and tried to blame it on the Syrian Arab army. The usual um, game, passing the blame to someone who is innocent and trying to make the West do things against Syria. وطريقة خلط النابالم مع الفوسفور الأبيض المحرم دوليا. Willie Peter white phosphorus should be illegal, but it's not because they can get away with using it as a smoke screen, as the Israelis have done in Gaza. It's a horrible, horrible weapon, and napalm. That's just as bad. It sticks to the skin and burns. طبعاً ويسمى بالنابالم الفوسفوري. ضمن قذائف الهاون هكذا يطلق عليه. They called them this mix. They called them phosphorium and nabalm. So they're mixing both. كما ينتج عنه غازات سامة. It produces a poison gas. It produces a poison gas. وحروق بأكسيد الفوسفور. By phosphoric acid. Yeah, witnessed it. I witnessed it. Witnessed it in the siege of Aleppo prison. They used white phosphorus there. What's this table? Yes. هذه إحداثيات القذائف التي تطلق على دمشق. This is the 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 section for the area they want to target. Coordinates. Coordinates. Geolocation. Yeah. So these are all the coordinates for. Rural Damascus, but they try to kill innocent women and children. And this, Asma Al Qada, Al Mutawajidin, fi hada al Maqab. The leaders. The leaders. Yes. Hey, now, Qada al Maqab. They're all from Ahlul Sham. Okay. Okay. Al An, sanan ta. I'm not going to touch anything. I know, I know. I'm just telling you that it's uh, until now they didn't. They haven't diffused it. So I'm standing around live munitions, and this Totally booby trapped. And that would be a big bang, believe me. 
This place is covered in trip wires and booby traps. Um, pressure pad on the, on the on the place which has come through. Trip wire, more trip wires. This is chemical. I'm not going to go in. I'm just going to fill in the outside because it's all booby trapped. The whole place, and this is extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous. After you, you know. The guys say they're going to lead me in. Step where I step. These are the moulds for making mortar shells. This is the same size as the one that damaged my leg. Pressure pad. Okay. This is a pressure pad designed for me to step on and get blown to pieces. More moles. This is this is a specialist sand that's used in casting. So they're making the sand casts and making weapons from them too. You can see by the amount of moles they've got, this is a real big production area. Watch your feet on that. It's um, be safe. There's pressure parts all over. I'm talking to her. She doesn't speak Arabic. She's talking to Vanessa. She's chin. Is it okay? Which area is booby trap? There, where they are. So here is okay. There's okay. Behind you is a booby trap, right? No, that's why I was shouting across the room for you for, because you were heading towards it, right? 